welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Lovey Knit on Keto. It is board week this week so I am dressed for success. We have to put our professional clothes so that's what I've got going on. I've got my blue Fluvog Achievers. These are the Achievers. Aren't they cute? Yeah. 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 Man, I put this dress on this morning and I can feel that I have lost inches since yeah, I last wore this dress. Man. It's like really a sheath. It's a sheath dress, you know, which fits like this. So I feel, I feel like I'm losing weight. I do. Like, yeah. Inches. Inches. I really, really do. Anyway, you guys, we are doing the September hard push for weight loss. Yes, indeed, before the holidays, and today is a no dairy day. It's a protein sparing modified fast day. High protein, make that your priority. Eat your protein first today, you guys. Don't let your carbs get up above 10 grams, and don't let your fat get above 30. These are levers. You don't have to have any carbs, and you can have a minimum amount of fat today. So, don't forget, also, Take a walk. Come take a walk with me today, you guys. Hey, everything that you guys eat. What, Harry? You know, you need to also remind them about the giveaway you're doing and they need to go. Oh, that's right. Let me go get that. Hold on. If you guys like cookies, we are doing a giveaway. We're giving away these uh, this box of chocolate chip cookies. Perfect Keto, our Sunday's video, uh, Chewing the Fat with Harry and Wendy. It says giveaway. You can only... Enter once, you need to go to that video only, leave a comment, it needs to be hashtag keto. Harry will list which video it is, he'll show right it. Right there, yeah. Right there. And you guys need to go and do that because we are drawing the winner and letting everybody know Sunday. Sunday we're gonna announce the winner. You need to live in the United States of America. You need to be a subscriber. And you, don't forget to like. You gotta like the video. Yeah, because we can choose different different criteria in order to do it so don't forget yeah let me put that over there anyway you guys everything that you eat or drink the day before sometimes two days after can have a direct effect on your weight so with that we had a perfectly keto day yesterday i had protein spray modified fast i made a huge turkey sandwich with lovely mustard and pickle chips last night i cooked pork I put cooked country pork loin ribs in my uh, pressure cooker Instapot. We had pumpkin caramel spice keto chow ice cream for dessert, which was yummy. Let me tell you guys, we've been using coconut milk. And oh, yeah. this coconut milk man. makes my ice cream, I only use 14 ounces, I make two servings. So I use a total of 28 ounces of of liquid i used 14 ounces of this and 14 ounces of water and it came out so smooth oh God, so creamy good. and i only put in a tablespoon 15 grams of um fat each avocado oil and man this was good Ooh, now, today, it was creamy rich today is a, is a sparing modified it's a protein sparing yeah. modified fast day right. yes indeed okay anyway um Pumpkin spice, pumpkin caramel spice keto chow ice cream with, uh, I had collagen in my coffee, three tablespoons key two creamer, 6% carbs for a total of 17 grams, 30% fat for a total of 39 grams. I had 64% protein. Look at this, 189 grams total calories. I erased it. That's a, that's a one. It was um, 1,184. Yeah. Uh, Harry had a protein spray modified fast meat bun that I made. He had six ounces of ground beef for dinner. He had pork loin, pork country, uh, country pork loin ribs. <laughs> yeah. Pumpkin caramel spice keto chow ice cream. He had collagen and three tablespoons key two creamer. He had 4% carbs for a total of 11 grams, 38% fat for a total of 49 grams. He had 58% protein for a total of 170 grams. And total calories is 1,197. You guys, having the protein spray modified fast breads and buns makes a huge difference because it keeps you satisfied. I know it's weird to think that 
I'm not hungry. Harry's not hungry. And we're eating the small amount of calories. And it's because of that bread being pure eggs, you know, being pure protein and then egg protein powder in it and all the good things. So anyway, you guys, how'd we do? How'd we do? Well, I'm doing this. I'm doing the. Yeah. Stand, I guess. Oh, well, actually reversed because yesterday I was the one who didn't move and you went down. Oh, and you went down. That was the opposite today. Well, we still got to get down to here and then we got to get down past that. Right. Anyway, you guys, let's go to the big board, shall we? There you are. How's it going, Harry? I slept good last night. I know. We got done I, in time. I actually went to bed at normal time. And you, well, YouTube didn't fight you. No, I didn't have any problem putting anything up last night. It was like like a dream. Yeah, it was. Shall and we... I got finished editing early. Yes, so. you did. Yes, you did. So where are we this week? Uh, I started out we're at... Kind of, we're doing yeah. the, this bit. Yeah, right we now. are. We are. You know, my, I think my, my... If you look at this, though, I mean, we ate... Yeah, I, we kind of recovered right here. Mm -hmm. This well, is basically, re like I said, three days after I go out, it takes about three days and all of a sudden I'll start to recover. Same with you, but no, you did but it early. With, no, you have to understand, right here is where I had that major intestinal issue and everything in the entire world came out of my body. Yeah, that's right. This one you really went down. And that's, you know, so now I'm my equilibrium. Yeah, but you know, really, if you look at this, you're not that far away from No, me. I'm not. You know, so you, you could do that. All of a sudden, it might just happen over here. So well, I feel thin come back again. again today. So I think it's weird. Here, hold this a minute. Yeah, that's really, I mean, our calories are... Look at our protein, though. We've been high in the yeah, protein. Yeah, our protein's really good. We and were protein I, I think yesterday. that's what's doing it. To tell you the truth, I'm starting to think that... I'm having, I'm starting to be a, be a big believer in the protein thing. Lower fat, because higher protein. Because I'm noticing that if you go back, that before we started doing the protein stuff, things were totally different than what's going on right now with the body and the way we lose weight. Well, I think that in the beginning, when you first start your ketogenic journey, doing the high fat, low carb, moderate protein works really well. I think it's very satiating. It tastes delicious. It's very rich. But I think there comes a point where your body is like, okay, now I want to start burning my fat. And then I think it gets to the point where, you know what, I need more protein because you're losing all this weight. You know, and I feel really good on high protein, moderate fat, and a little bit of carbs. That's where I, that's my sweet spot, you know, and I think that's where your sweet spot is too. Well, there's sort of like three phases to this. Yeah. I'm starting to learn. There's a, in the beginning, you got to eat a lot, eat fat. Right. That's what I just said. It, yeah. I know. And then the second part, you kind of like are feeling around to see, and you start to slow down, so you stop losing. All of a sudden, you're in this limbo state. That's that third, that's that second state. And the okay, third so state. you're a talking head. If you want to talk, let me no, have that. No, that's right. I'm real quick. And then, and then the third state is basically doing, where we're doing at. this. Where we're at well, right I think now. the closer you and get. And there's probably a fourth state, and that's going to be in the maintenance. Well, of course it is. You know? And it, I'm really kind of curious how that's going to go. Okay, sorry. Keep well, no, don't apologize, but I, mm -hmm. I think people would like to see you when you're talking instead of just standing behind the camera and being it. Uh, talking. Here I am. See, you heard me, right? Okay. Right. You guys, Harry has a dentist appointment. Yeah, I got to go. So we don't know what how he's going to feel um, this afternoon, but he's got a dentist appointment and I need to get to work now, you guys. So we will see everybody in the next segment. Wish Harry luck and I will see you guys at work. Goodbye. Oops. I think I'm going to walk to work. Oh, that really hurt. Oh. Hey, you guys, I have my lunch for today. I have my electrolytes with immunity from Real Light, Redmond's Real Salt. I have got a strawberry bubbly sparkling water, a cherry cola zevia, and a ginger root beer zevia for the refrigerator. I made, um, country pork loin ribs last night and I brought some meat. I drained it, strained it, got it out of the fats and juices. I have got protein sparing modified fast bread for my protein sparing modified fast day you guys. So that is it for my lunch. 
I'm going to put it away and then I'm going to go downstairs and get a beautiful cup of coffee. It's supposed to be 107 today, so yeah, we're three, three degrees cooler than we were yesterday at 110. Okay, you guys, I am getting some coffee. Yes, I am. Nice dark coffee, too. <laughs> Good morning, how are you? Sorry about that downstairs at the coffee, but a little lady walked in and um, she was getting some soft drinks while I was getting my coffee, so I had to kind of stop filming. So anyway, you guys, this coffee smells delicious. I put in about a third of a scoop of my Perfect Keto uh, Collagen. I put in about a third of a scoop of the salted car caramel MCT oil powder. I put in a sweet leaf, stevia, pumpkin spice drops. I put in my key two vanilla creamer and man, oh, a little bit of cinnamon. Yeah, I put got cinnamon in there. Mm-hmm. Mm. <coughs> cinnamon ooh, and the pumpkin spice anyway you guys have a cup of coffee with me <coughs> <coughs> man got to take care of that Ooh, you ever cough and sneeze at the same time not fun anyway you guys I want to have a taste of my coffee now yes indeed mmm ah, tastes like fall. Even though it's going to be 107 outside, I could still have something inside in air conditioning that makes me feel like it's fall. <laughs> yes, indeed. Anyway, you guys, you have a great morning. Harry's on the way to the dentist in about 20 minutes. Hey, here's something, you guys. Hey, some of you guys text me during the day, and just remember, I work full time, and I'm not even supposed to have my cell phone out but they're pretty getting pretty lax at that but if I don't answer you please don't get upset please be patient because I can only grab it on a break or at lunch or if my boss is not around but he sits right across from me so I um, will get to you but I apologize if I have to leave suddenly or if I tell you I'm going to a meeting because I go to several meetings I have lots to do at work because I work full time and I do videos every day. So I have very busy, busy schedules. So anyway, everybody, I've got to drink my coffee now. Hope you guys are drinking some too. I'll see everybody in the next segment. Hey, how's everybody doing? We got mail. So, this I just got in from uh, the post office. I went down and I grabbed it real quick because they said it was in. And the, I had I got in contact with Bones Coffee. And um, they said they were going to send me out a few of their coffees to review, which I think is, and I know that's what's in here. So, let's open this up, see what they sent us. Yeah. Feels like there's more than just like two in here. Let's take a look. You can't buy happiness, but you can buy coffee. And that's pretty close. Cool, huh? Alright, let's check this out. It helps I put my glasses on. What they call their fall favorite sample. Oh, check it out. I wonder what this is. Oh, it's a little poster. Look at this. I don't know if you guys can see. Look at that. 
I'm gonna have to put that up somewhere because I like that. That is cool, isn't it? Very godfathery. Look at that. Look. Can you see that? Look, she's like the godfather and me being a movie guy. Yeah, I'll be framing this and putting this up. All right. Um, that's cool. Put that right there. Okay, so they sent me. Oh, shoot. Ooh, and a bones. And a little uh, bone sticker. Check it out. Isn't that neat? <laughs> yeah, it's going to go on probably some of my camera gear. Well, they sent me quite a few. There's one, two, three, four, five. There's five of them here. Let's see what we got. Oh, wow. You know, one thing I really like about their stuff, even though I've never really gotten into their coffee because I've never really had a chance, I thought this would be a good time. Even though Bones, I, I do have one flavor is my favorite. Um, but I haven't tried any of these. I don't recognize any of these. So, I'll show you what I got. So here they are. This is the five right here, man. This looks really interesting, doesn't it? <laughs> Peaches and Scream. Frankenbones. Jacked Old Lantern. Caramel Apple. And Wonder Bones. So, that's quite a collection. Uh, now, uh, whoops, what I'm curious to know, have any of you tried any of these? I, I'm gonna let you guys tell me which ones to try first because I'm not gonna be able to do these today. I would actually like, if there was just two or three, I do them all the same day so we could see what, what I thought about each one of them. And I still might want to do that. I might make five cups of coffee and see which one I like the best. We're not going to be able to do that today because I'm really pressed for time. But I wanted everybody to see these because I, I didn't, I thought there were only going to be two. I didn't know there was going to be that many. But we'll go over them again because I want you guys to tell me which one, if probably some of you have probably had 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 some of this and if you have I want I would I would like to try I would like to do all five of these at one time you know what I mean I think that would really be cool but I don't think that's gonna happen I don't know I don't know you guys tell me what you think I should do should I do all five at the same time or should I just do two at a time or um, should I just do one at a time I'm gonna let you guys tell me what 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 would be good because I, I at this point I really don't know because I really want to get into this, but I want to get into it the right way, you know. I want because this looks really cool. I think this would be a lot of fun, uh, but I want to know what you guys think I should do. So I'm gonna leave that up to you. So uh, on this video, write down what you think I should do. Should I do them all five in one try? Or should I do two at one try or one in one day? So it'll be. Either one a day, two a day, or all five. I don't, you know, unless I did like these two, and then these two, and then this one alone. But I don't think I could get a really good sample. Out. I don't know. I don't know. You guys think about it. And tell me what you think I should do. And we'll take a vote. So from that vote, we will decide on which way I'm going to go with these bones. So I'll show them to you one more time. You guys, okay? So this one's Peaches and Scream. Then we've got Frankenbones. And we've got Jack O' Lantern. Jacked O' Lantern, excuse me. Caramel Apple. Sounds kind of interesting, huh? And Wonder Bones. Okay. So there we go. You guys get to pick how we're gonna do this. Five, all five in one day, two a day, and then the last one, well, I might have to do three on the other day. I don't know. You guys, you guys take a vote, see what, what everybody thinks we should do. But until then, that's about all I got for the five minute coffee break today because I'm running, man. And uh, I had to go to the dentist. My mouth is killing me right now, you know, but that's just the way it is. You know, stuff numbs off and then you're fine. Um, but uh, get with me.
tonight in the comments. Let me know what you think what I should do, okay? All right. Okay, you guys have a great time. Have a great day. And let me know what you want me to do. And we'll see how this all works out tomorrow. Yeah. Bye. Okay, you guys, I am taking my walk. It's supposed to be 107 today, but it's a dry heat. Anyway, you guys, don't forget to get out and move your body, take a walk. If you have air conditioning that you can go to, if you can go to a mall and walk the mall, that's always nice to do. We go to Costco and walk up and down every single aisle and take a, take a peek, you see at what's new what keto stuff they've got out there or stuff they call keto go to walmart walk up and down the aisles you know things like that that always works for us you get to see things and you get to exercise and move at the same time so anyway you guys i am moving my body and people are out and about so i have to be careful because I don't want to get into trouble for filming. So, I don't think that there's a problem because I keep stuff just to my phone and just to my face, but you know, FaceTiming and all that good stuff. So, people look out their office and they see Wendy walking and talking, and I just have to be careful. Anyway, everybody, don't forget get up, move your body. Take a walk, and I'll see everybody in the next segment. Isn't this fountain amazing? It's 175 years old. They had it imported from, I believe, Spain. I'm telling you, it's so pretty. Okay, you guys, I've got some pulled pork, and I put keto chow gravy because the keto chow gravy doesn't have any um, fat in it. The gravy that came with my pulled pork, I pulled pulled pork out, drained the grease, the fat, the drippings, all the deliciousness, and that sauce is being saved for a non-protein sparing modified fast day where I can have more fat. So I have got keto beef based um, gravy with my keto chow beef based gravy with poultry seasoning. A little bit of onion powder, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of salt, pepper. Yes, indeed. And I've got my strawberry bubbly, which I am very happy about. I love this. So anyway, you guys, I am eating my lunch now. I'm having some carnivore crisps for a snack. Yum. Yes, indeed, I love these little things. Crunchy, crunchy, and delicious. Yes, indeed. Ooh, I'm hungry today. Yeah. I thought, Wendy made some really good stuff last night. She made um, uh, loin chop and in, 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 the, uh, air, in the air fryer. I want to always call this thing the air fryer. It's not an air fryer. It's a pressure cooker. And the stuff just falls off the meat. And it is so good. Fact. This is it. And this stuff is so good. Oh my gosh. This is good. I don't know if can, you can see that. Mm, check that out. And oh, oh, you can't, I can't begin to tell you how good this is. You know, I really like this way of eating, man. I, 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 I'm a meat eater anyways, and, uh, but I do like salad, and, uh, which is really weird because I wouldn't eat salad at all until I became, we were vegetarians for a while. And I kind of learned to like salad, and then I really started liking salad. So now I'm really into salad, but now I can't eat a whole lot of salad because it bloats, you know. Uh, God, it just never, never, it's always something, you know. I'm going to take some of this. I'm, gonna, I'm only going to have, uh, I'm going to have six ounces of this. Well, I'm going to have to see how six ounces look because I'm kind of hungry. And then I'm going to put a little bit of gravy on here, some of Wendy's gravy that she makes. 
And uh, that's really gonna be about it. Man, I'll put a little, of course I'm gonna put my mustard on it too. So let's do it real quick. <sighs> yeah, I had to go to the dentist this morning. So finally, you know, stuff all wore off and everything. And uh, now I'm good to go, you know. Uh, I had a, a cap that wasn't right, so they had to fix the cap. But I don't know, cavities, no nothing, everything's fabulous. And the thing is, just, I got a, had a cap that kind of loosened up, so they had to do some work on that. But anyways, let's get going on this, shall we? So let me take some of this out of here. Just kind of like pile it in here and see what I get. I don't know what, what that's going to be. Look at that. Doesn't that stuff look good? I mean, it tastes fabulous, too. Six and a half. I'll go, yeah, you know what? I'm going to have, I think I'm going to have eight. Yeah. That's perfect. Okay, let's go with that. Then, got to put my mustard on here. We all know how much I like my mustard, so we're going to have some mustard. Yeah. And then, I'm also going to put this gravy, the gravy that Wendy makes. Stuff is really good. She makes, she makes it with keto chow. Just a little bit, just enough to, you know, moisten it up. So, okay, so eight ounces. And that's really about, that's a lot of meat if you really think about it. It's, it's quite a bit of food. Yeah. Yeah, well, I... Okay, I've already made my decision, and that's what I'm going with because I've already fixed it. And it's ready to go. I can't put it back now, right? So I'm going to have to eat it. Oh. So, uh, in the microwave. And in the microwave, it goes. <sighs> my wife protecting shell. So I don't get in trouble. How long? How about 45 seconds? Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, that smells so good. Oh, okay. Anyways. Alright. Let's see, I'm gonna try this out. Yeah, I'm gonna try it out in front of you. Perfect. Oh. oh, that is so good. I'm sorry to be eating in front of you, but I can't wait. All right. Okay. All right. Now, do we all know what I'm going to have with this? Huh? Today I'm having a creamy root beer, Zevia. You know how much I like it. Really should get these guys to sponsor a show or something. I mean, I push them like crazy, don't I? And I don't mean to. It's just I really like it, and it really works for me. And it, I know I was reading, uh, some of you guys wrote that, or one of them did, that the Zevia does affect you. It does not affect me at all. I could drink these all day long, and I will see a difference. So I kind of looked out that way. So I guess Stevia doesn't bother me at all. I mean, ugh. So good. Fat zero, sodium zero, total carbs zero, total sugar zero, protein zero. Hmm. So I'll eat the meat. I won't get any protein out of this, but I'm going to get it out of my meat. Anyways, okay, so I'm going to go eat. That's enough. I sound like a damn commercial, don't I? Okay, so we got to stop that. All right. Okay, you guys. I'll talk to you later. See what Wendy's making tonight. I'm kind of curious. Hey everybody, I am home from work and it is a protein spray modified fast day. I've got my pulled pork. I've got 16 ounces in this bowl. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this keto chow, which is the taco, spicy taco base. If you guys have your favorite powdered um, taco seasoning or flavoring or fajita, you know, you guys can use that as well. Can you show that? Yes. You guys can use that as well. Whatever you have for your Mexican spices, you're welcome to use if you don't have or want to use taco uh, seasoning. I'm gonna put in just a little bit of water. To start with, I'm putting in 
four ounces. I'm gonna stir it. What are you making? I am making just a little casserole. Here's my little casserole. I'm gonna put my um, pork in here and I'm gonna meringue the top and put it in the oven. Nice. Yeah. So I don't want my sauce too gravy, but I do want it saucy. Okay, does that make sense to everybody? I got it. I'm everybody right now, so. So I get it, it's I get it. six ounces of water right now. Six ounces of water. Now I'm gonna turn this on. Let that heat up and marry and see if I need to add more or let add more water or not to that. I'm making this a little bit more saucy, I think. Since it's going in a casserole dish, it can be a little it can be a little I'm gonna put a whole cup in. Is that an American cup or is that a Canadian cup? It's eight ounces. <laughs> I know. That's crazy. When you have to ask Alexa or um, one of our viewers sent me this long lengthy thing. All she wanted to know was how many eggs to use. You guys want to know why I use 500 grams of egg whites? Because if you ask Alexa, she'll say, do you want medium eggs? You need this. For you know large eggs, you need this. For extra large eggs, you need this. For jumbo eggs, you need this. It just seems like for the what I put in seasoning wise, I gotta find my lid. Did I have, do I have a lid over here somewhere? Have you seen a, oh, there it is. Found it, found it, found the pan lid. Um, depending on what size your egg is, is how many grams. So I have just found from trial and error doing this, you guys, that um, that's, it's almost out. Here, I'll show you in just a minute. This is, uh, Organic extra virgin olive oil. Works great. And it's non-aerosol. It works great. The egg whites do not stick. That's especially what she uses on the fabric pan. Yes. That's on the works mesh. Great. On the black mesh pan. So and I would put it up over the sides because you guys Wasn't it was it jelly you told you about? Jelly that? from a uh, fat keto told me about that. Yeah. So any place an egg white hits and cooks, it's gonna stick like glue. So you want to make sure the oil you do use, you put it on the handle and everything else because it's going to rise up. So let me put this in. Sorry, you guys. I dropped something on the burner, which was burning, and then my mom called. So I had burning stuff, mom. Yeah. So same, anyway, I put thing. the lid on this, and I'm, and I'm just uh, reheating it. Sprayed my pan. It's all ready to go. Now, I just want to top it with a little meringue. I've got four egg whites or 187 or 89 grams. Yeah. So it's there. This is how much I got. Two thirds. Two thirds of an American cup. 187-ish grams. Now, egg white powder. I'm going to use a little less than a quarter of a cup. I'm going to put a little bit of allulose in this. What's a little bit? Well, since we're using uh, four egg whites, it would be a tablespoon because four tablespoons equal a quarter of a cup and we're splitting it into a quarter. So I'm using kind of a quarter and a quarter. Now, I'm just putting a tinky winky, tinky winky, just a sprinkle, just a smidge, a little bit of onion, just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of garlic, just a little bit. You can't even see can't it, Harry. Up with you, man. I'm sorry. Here, just a little bit. Nutritional yeast. Just a little bit. And a little bit of Redmond's Real Salt. Probably a little dash of each. Okay. Because I don't want a ton of egg whites, I just want it to cover my casserole. I'm going to put in. Excuse me, let me stir this. I hear it. I hear it bubbling, see. Let me 
seal the bottom of it. So I, it's an electric stove, so I can turn that off and it'll still be hot. So I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna put in teaspoon or an eighth of a teaspoon. Let's just put in an eighth of a teaspoon of cream of tartar. And I'm going to put just a little bit of active yeast, about an eighth of a teaspoon in my bread. There we go. So I've just split everything down to make it smaller. You know, if there's only two of you, right? You don't need a huge casserole, but you want that taste. I want more of a Mexican flair tonight, but I don't want a huge casserole because I got a ton more pork. So here we go. Let's get going on this. So you guys, I put in 10 drops of the uh, concha, which is sweet bread and cornbread drops each, and a few drops of yellow food coloring because I wanted to make more cornbread taste. The problem is going to be getting this out of the beater and into the... Because I'm dealing with such a small amount of egg white, you know. Oh, look at that. I wanted just a little bit of yellow to trick the eye into thinking that there's some corn in it. And I'm just finish floating it out here, getting that uh, yellow food coloring everywhere. Now, because it's a protein sparing modified fast day, I am not putting in cheese. But you guys, you could layer sour cream. You could throw some olives here. Then you could put your cheese. Then you could put your meringue on top. Yes, indeed. Or you could put your, your corn flavoring. Man, one time you don't want a billion tons of meringue and it decides to whip super duper good. Probably because you just swallow them out. Hmm? Probably because you just you swallow can't, them out. Well, that's true. I don't know. Is that why? I don't know. Actually, this is perfect. You guys can make a shepherd pie this way. You guys could make a um, chicken pot pie this way. It's really bright. I hope I can turn it down some so you can see it, you know. every last bit of this in. I don't like wasting anything. I'm gonna do a cross bun. Let me get it smooth. I'm going to go just barely draw a line. You don't want to cut in too deep because then it just splits it wide open. You just want a cross bun. And let me get a paper towel and get this off the handles because 
any little bit is going to stick to this corning ware. And we do not want that. Easier to wipe it off than to worry about trying to boil it off. In boil the, it on, yeah. Yeah. Makes the dishwasher mad. Makes the dishwasher, makes Harry Shinsky mad. Yeah, I'm on the dishwasher. I know you are. Okay, you guys. That is going into the oven. I am very excited about that cute little pie. So there we go. That is pulled pork. This is pulled pork Mexican pie. It's going into the oven. Uh, I'm going to cook it for 20 minutes, then check it because the uh, inside of the pie is already cooked. We're just cooking the meringue on that, you guys. So let me close the door. I'm going to start 15 minutes and I'm going to come back and check. And you guys, we've got mail, so I want to share those with everybody as soon as I get this cleaned up. So come back in the next segment. Okay, everybody, I've got some things that were in our post office box, so I want to open them up and share with everybody. One of them, I already know what it is, and I am so excited. Woo, I'm so excited. I'm excited about packages anyway. And thank you so much for thinking of us, you guys. Truly. Oh, really? Truly we are. This one has to go over here because it goes with something else. Oh, really? Yes. This is from Amber. Amber C. A Amber Hancock. Amber. I don't know if I'm supposed to say your last name, Amber. I'm sorry. Amber H. My bad. Boy, Amber, you sure take it really well. I don't want to, I don't want to cut something that's inside. Okay. When you can't get in the front door, you go down the back. Right? Yep. Harry taught me this one. It's always easier to go Everybody to the Everybody tapes the top really well. Ooh, what is that? What is, what is this? Let's see. I hope this helps with your love of pumpkin spice. I've been using this for years. Please note there's a website, www.nutmegspice.com to find a local store that carries these spices. I went on the site and did see some in Arizona. Thank you for all you do for this community. Amber H. Amber, you have no idea how fortuitous oh this gosh. is. <laughs> oh my God. $5. Wow. You've been using this? It's what wonderful. Is this? Price for the amount you get? Woo! Let me see. Please put What do you want me to do? Point it at me. Okay, here. Cuz I don't I can't tell what what to point. There you go. You can see it. I can't, baby, and it's round. I got it. I know it's in this package. And with this package, there's something I saw that really had me intrigued. And I'll explain it in just a minute. But I'm going to maybe need this with one of the things I want to do with this tomorrow. And I'm not going to say it anymore. Okay. Now. I am very excited about this. You guys, I am very excited about this. One of our regular viewers and I have been texting madly for the past couple days. Recipes, all kinds of things around this. Oh, I am so excited. Oh, I'm you guys, I got my very own sous vide. And Jim West, thank you so much for sending me this. You are awesome. You, he has been cooking with his and sharing all the deliciousness that's coming out of it. Well, today I went online 
I was searching and looking for recipes because I really, really, really am cooking tomorrow. And he gave me the clips that you need to do sous vide. What? I've been I really don't understand it. what you're talking I'll about. Explain. I'll explain right now. Let me see this. Thing. About it. It's a big wand. It's a mechanized wand. Hmm. And let me explain. I've got some printouts, you guys, and please excuse. Sous vide means under vacuum in French. It refers to the process of vacuum sealing food in a bag, then cooking it to the precise temperature in a water bath. This technique produces results that are impossible to achieve than any other cooking method. So you can cook all kinds of things. And I have some things, and I even made a recipe up that I'm gonna use this, that I'm gonna cook in here, but I have to go to Ace Hardware before I can do it. <laughs> and I went to the grocery store, Jim, and the, sa the meat sale starts tomorrow. And I was talking to Roy the Butcher about, because you guys, the nice thing about, the nicest thing about a sous vide is you can get the cheapest, leanest meats, put them in here and cook them to a medium rare, rare, medium well, well done, and they will be moist and tender and delicious because they're never overcooked. How's that possible? Because you, this keeps the water at the exact precise temperature oh, that the meat will be when it's done. And I am just so jazzed about this. So tomorrow I have to go and get the meat that I'm gonna be cooking. But I have to go, I have the ingredients of the other thing after reading everything about this. My brain is just going crazy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at this. I wanna look at this. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Jim's been cooking steak and he showed me he cooked a roast and this thing that I found towards the end of the day and I texted him and told him about and I'm like, okay, that got Wendy's mind creating something and I thought, oh man. I gotta do it, gotta do it, but I gotta go get some equipment. Look at this, ooh, you guys. This is so cool. So what you do is you get your big pan. I have a big pot, just happen to have a crab pot in here. And you hook this in there and you turn it on, you program it so that you can cook your meat. And I had to go get, I had, uh, bags because I don't have a sealing meal so I had to get the right kind of bags that were PBA free and everything else but you guys I am so excited about this gym thank you from the bottom of my heart you and I've been going to town texting back and forth well that thing I told you about um about three o'clock today of course your time I think it's like six o'clock uh that's what I'm looking for and I need to get some at um Ace Hardware because my store was out I know you guys, I'm cryptic. I'm being real cryptic. But I want you guys to come back and see because I'm very, 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 very excited. Yes, indeed. One of the meals is going to be meat, but the other one involves this. <gasps> There's the buzzer. It's dinner. Now, should we leave it set in there? Let's, let's check it. Harry, I need to um, just pull this out and feel it first. Oh my gosh, look what at that. Got, is, oh, smell that. God, it smells oh, fancy. Oh, yeah. You think it's ready? Yes, I do. So I need Harry to pull that out of the oven. That smells like cornbread, sweet cornbread. I put the sweet Mexican sweet bread in. Here, Harry. Yep. And I put, yep, and I put cornbread you drops. You know it's setting? You want it on that setting or That's the other good. setting? Be careful because it's very hot. So no this way. is my Mexican Southwest protein sparing spot protein sparing modified fast Southwest casserole and look at the top of that cross. Yeah, see what that does? Well I want you to do this, Harry. It really is cool what it does. I noticed that when you you start doing it on bread, then so did everybody else. Well they're cutting too deep is yeah, the I challenge. Know. 
You guys, I drew, literally drew the line. You know, if you cut down in the meringue, even a quarter of an inch, it's gonna fillet it. You just wanna draw a line. For some reason, drawing a line, look at that. Now this side I kind of undid, but that made it perfect, you guys. Can you move it over there where it's not so bright? Or no? Mm, I think that needs to go back in. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I'm feeling it. I think I can do it. I think five more minutes. Anyway, I am so excited about the sous vide. I've got all kinds of information on it that I'm gonna go over with you guys tomorrow, but I am so excited. Really, you, you cook it in water. If you guys do slow cooking, this is so easy. It really is. And after I saw the delectable, delicious stuff that you can make with cheap lean cuts of meat and other things, this is exciting for me. But like I said, I have some tools that I need to go buy. So um, tomorrow night is cook night. So we've got to keep it lean and mean, Harry, so we can do the cooking tomorrow night. All right. Because I have several things I'm cooking. Well, come on. Okay. Well, let's come back when this is ready. Got it. Okay, mm -hmm. Harry, it's ready. Take out Wendy's Southwest Protein Spray Modified Fast Casserole. Protein Spray Modified Fast Southwest Casserole. There you go. Ooh, Ooh yeah. Look at that, man. Ooh, man. You push it in and start nope, over? take it out. That's good. Oh, man. Perfect. That, that would feed a family of four with a side salad, oh, man. Isn't oh, yeah. that beautiful, you guys? That is so pretty, huh, Harry? Yep. Ooh. Okay, you guys, I'm excited. That's my little casserole. Very excited. We're going to let it cool down for five minutes. And then we'll be back to cut it and get to the inside delicious goodness. Okay, everybody, I want to go over tomorrow's September. Hard push for weight loss day. Tomorrow is a 16 hour fast or eight hour window. It's a regular keto day, so use your macros and move your body. Yes, indeed. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut, I think I'm gonna cut this. And then I'll scoop it up. Of course, I use an old steak knife that doesn't cut for, for anything. This would be so good, like I said, with sour cream and um, some onions and some black olives. And you can make like a tamale casserole. Let me see if I can get uh, this big scoop. There you go. That's one. Man, doesn't that smell delicious? Oh, that smells good. I got a little bit of beef on there, but that's okay. So you guys, take a look at that. Wendy's Protein Sperry Modified Fast Southwestern Pie. Yes, indeed. So you could sprinkle some cheese. You could put sour cream. Put some olives. You can make it your own. But you guys, this smells heavenly, doesn't it, Harry? Smells spicy, taco-y, deliciousness. Yeah, man, it looks really good. Okay, now we have to do a taste test. Yes, we do. And get a fork. They're like a souffle. Come on over here. Can you see this? It's like a souffle. Mm. 
I don't want to burn my mouth off. Ow! <laughs> like I said. Hot, huh? Oh, yeah. Hot. Very good. Keto chow. Spicy taco soup is spicy. So I would not add any spices until you taste it because it really doesn't need anything else. It is real, and that's coming from somebody who, you know, has, a, has a, an issue with sensitivity issues. Look at that. I am not um, a super taster. I'm an under taster. That's so good. Yeah, I gotta have some of that. Good, huh? You can still do the meat buns and stuff, but I wanted to do more of a casserole dinner, throw a salad together, have a set side salad and some of this. The coolness of that side salad to refresh your palate for this. Awesome. Okay, Harry, I want you to have taste. You're supposed to smell it. Be careful, you'll burn your tongue because it's 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 oven hot. God, it smells fantastic. Mmm. Can you look into the camera, sir, and Ooh. say, mmm? Yeah, that's really good because the the this this bread stuff sops up the grain. Oh yeah, it just sops it up. Oh man. Mmm. Oh, I really like that. You don't really need the sour cream or any of this stuff. You don't don't drop it. How am I gonna drop it? You mean the plate? Well, yeah, it's it's lean. No, the food's coming out. It's very hot. Mm. Okay, come come get the camera oh, back. I like that. That's a keeper. Yeah. That's a keeper. Yes, indeed, that is delicious. If you have somebody who's gluten-free, this would be an awesome dish to make for them, right? It's very, very good, you guys. Anyway, hope you guys like what we did today. Hope you guys like this. I hope you're as excited about the sous vide cooking that I'm gonna do tomorrow night. So come back for that, you guys. I am so excited. I'm telling you, I'm really excited about it. Anyway, everybody, please remember to like subscribe, ring the little bell, give us a thumbs up. We'll see you right here tomorrow. It's Zuvi cooking with Wendy in the kitchen tomorrow afternoon. Yes, indeed. Okay, which one do you want? I started That's eating That's mine. One. Well, don't you want I'll the bigger one? I'll take that one. Put this one. This one didn't get eaten. I thought you would want a bigger one. Yeah, I'll take this one. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'll take that Okay, but I gotta get something to drink. Can I want this piece of bread right there? Came off of my... Okay, well, I ate a lot of it. What kind of zevia do you want? Root Creamy beer. or root beer? Root beer.